Hi guys, Dan here. Um, just back down the garden having a look around. It's midsummer. Sort of late two thirds through summer now. Uh, those hops, this is Tetanang hops. Not quite as uh, robust as the other two varieties I've got. Got some little zucchinis there. Um, the zucchinis are waning off a little bit. There's quite a flurry of them for a, for a while there, but they've, they're sort of dropping back slightly. We've had a bit of rain recently, which is great. Um, hence this kale's really going off. Um, hops there, that's the uh, Goldings hops, those ones. Um, then we've just got some capsicums in here. Uh, had a really good year for capsicum. I think it's got a little bit to do with letting some of the herbs go to seed and just encouraging pollinating insects. Uh, there's green capsicum there. Um, the uh, amaranth is coming on. No seed heads on the amaranth yet though. I'm really looking forward to seeing how that comes out, especially quite a vivid colour. Uh, a couple more one more zucchini there, a few flowers which indicates that there's more on the way and uh, cucumbers, so these are a bit of a surprise actually, I only found these the other week um, this plant was quite small but there's actually quite some large cucumbers in there even though the leaves of the plant are quite small coming down to the popcorn um, no actual popcorn yet but there's a tassel and the silks are developing so the, this, the interesting one over here, this is another variety but see the red silk on that quite a vivid purpley red colour um, eggplants are really coming on quite well, they're, they're very large now, you might remember an earlier video where I grew the eggplants from seed there's yeah, some little um, flowering heads, actually some small eggplants starting to be developed from the flowers there, so the eggplants are taking to this area quite well, this is the first time I've, well second time I've grown them here, but this is mu a much better yield um, there's some just little flowers on the, the rocket there, and I think that's got something to do with and into corn. I think that the little rocket flowers have got something to do with how well the uh, both the eggplant and also the um, capsicums that have come on in terms of their fruiting. Got some little red yeah. cherry tomatoes here. I'm just uh, having a think about what I'll pick for dinner. Um, cherry tomatoes go really well with the salad. They're nice and sweet. Um, corns aren't really ready yet. Um, there's a what I did notice in here was a Quite a big eggplant hiding, so I'm going to pick that fella, and I think that'll go really well for, um, for dinner time. Um, unusual shape, but that's probably just the variety. But I think that'll roast up really well. And there's my uh, cascade hops that there. That's cascade. That one is probably the most advanced. It's like River Cottage, isn't it? Yeah, got some parsley, got some, got some rocket, some capsicums. I'm going to lay them all out on the table here so I can uh, demonstrate to my YouTube audience the sort of things that you can get from a garden. Hello, YouTube audience. An eggplant, see. Or you can roast it, or you can you can steam it, you can fry it, you can bake it. So I'll probably um, steam it. Yeah, you just bake it in, in, in some oil. That, that, that's probably the nicest way to eat it. And I got my rocket, my parsley, basil, kale. Just from one one little expedition down to the garden, and there's a whole table full of food. See, Got parsley, the basil's come on, rocket, kale, eggplant, cherry tomatoes, little zucchini there, three uh, shallots, and all them capsicums. And you, you know, something that um, something that a still life painter could make quite a Quite a good painting of. Red there, like yeah, it's tomatoes. A little bit lacking on the red, a little lot of green, but uh, it'll do. You've got to just sort of run with what you got, haven't you? Anyway, 
So there's tonight's salad dinner. Maybe you'll roast that. Alright. So I just chopped up the um, eggplant and the zucchini. Uh, I'm just going to bake that. Um, soften it up a little bit. Put some grape seed oil in. Uh, I'm also going to put some basil in as well. So I've got some basil as we saw earlier from the, uh, the garden. Some parsley, some rocket which will go with the salad. And I'm just going to dig out the basil. I think that'll be ideal for baking. That's going to go in there. Just get the stems out. I'll just sort of mix them in a little bit like that. No, I'm just going for some grapeseed oil. Um, it's not bad for roasting, so I'm just going to roast these lightly. Um, the rest of the stuff I'll probably just steam. Got some cabbage going. Might add actually a couple of these to the roast, and I'll also use them in the salad as fresh vegetables. So there'll be a mixture of salad from the garden as well as. Um, which will be parsley, rocket, as well as the capsicum, tomato, and kale, and cucumber from the garden. That'll be the salad. Uh, some of the capsicum will be the salad, some of the capsicum will go into the roast. That's the general plan. Got grapeseed oil. We'll just drown that in that. And we'll add some, uh, probably some pepper. I might put some black pepper on it. Um, I've also got these shallots here. These are the shallots from the garden. And I think they're probably best served in the salad. I think the shallots with all those other salad vegetables will be perfect. Um, and then with that roast, I'm going to see a good dinner on the way.